Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Time Spinner. We're here in this very creepy alien ship. And which way do we have to go? Do we have to go down? No, this is where we came from, right? Or no, it's not. All right, let's go down this way. Perfect. We're I think here we're looking for key card A. Oh hey. Uh Oh, you're dead. Max Aura. Nice. Very nice. And we got the guns. That's right. And we got this. What is this going to do? Biotechnology. The new line of biotechnology war machines is proving to be quite effective. I would have never imagined juxtaposing simple metallic automata with literal biological organs. I'm surprised by the practicality of using enormous organic eyes as an ocular source for robots. Robots enhance as they are. Of course, an intentional side effect of the design is that they are so unsettling. The individual who spearheaded this new technology, Amadeus, is somewhat of an enigma to me. He claims to be from Surf Surfland, but I find that claim preposterous, considering the primitive level of scientific advancement of that planet. My skepticism is not shared with the new emperor, however. At least he doesn't seem to care. Perhaps I will attempt to reverse engineer Amadeus's biotech creations. It may be that I will find my answers there. I think, isn't Amadeus one of the demons? So we got this here. We got to turn these off. Uh, so put another marker here. We got all these. They're all orange. Orange laser beam gateways. Now, uh, over to there. Let's try going all the way up first. Stop that. Don't make me kill you. <laughs> okay. Well, the gun is is good, but I think... Well, whatever. We'll keep... Well, I want to use... Let's actually... Let's switch things up. Equipment. Let's take the gun... Not, the, not equipment. Orbs. Instead of the gun orbs, let's use the actual wind orbs. All right, Aura Blast and Sanguine Ring. Perfect. Yes. All right. Now. Ow. Ah! Oh my god, stop shooting me with your bullets and things. Good. More good. Ah, uh, wait. Yes, I marked this. I jumped right into your face. Okay, I need to... Alright. Uh, this is gonna be... Yes. See, I can't... We already interacted with that. And more sand. And we already did this. That's right. We fell down. Oh, wait. Weren't we up there already? I can't see because of these. Wait. Ow. <laughs> ah. Wait. Hmm. Alright, whatever. Ow! I knew that was gonna happen. Ah. Let's actually... I'm out of sand, that's why. I'm like, why does it not work? Whatever. Whatever. Uh, let's see if we can... Wait, no, I need to get sand first. Right here, that's perfect. What? Ah. Yeah, you can't do it like that. Whatever. A little sloppy, but it's all good. Just don't fall again. Hmm. We probably are going to have to platform with these, I'm guessing. Or, yeah. We totally are going to have to do that. Yeah, he gave, gave us a full thing of sand. Oh my god, okay. Let's see. Cool, and it respawns. What? This is a little tricky. 
I see. That was easy. We got a Chaos Rose. Perfect. Now, uh, I need more of this, please. Is it going to keep coming back? Yes. Oh, you're you're beautiful. Almost as beautiful as Poncho. Poncho the Demon. Poncho the Demon Familiar. That's right. <laughs> we got May. We got Oscar. We got Navi. Now we got Poncho. Grab onto it. All right. Excellent. And what are you? Eye Orb, a fleshy oculus that slices through unwitting foes. So we disabled all of those, uh, possibly. We can't go back this way, though. Let's try the oculus orbs. Why not? <laughs> or the eye orbs. Whoa, that's cool. I like them. Very nice. All right, let's go. Now. Oh, boy. So we're going to definitely get key card A here, right? We have to. Something broke out. Hmm. Experiment number 11. The subject exhibited an advanced growth rate as well as the addition of new psychic abilities, despite the subject's parents being completely void of it, any talent. Although my colleagues consider this experiment to be a failure, as we've yet to achieve our true goal, I, I believe it at least a step in the right direction. This will serve as a springboard for my next experiment. As a side note, some of my colleagues appear to be squeamish about the lengths we are going for this research. I do not blame them. The process of splicing unknown organic material into the embryo of a Windarian commoner is quite a leap from most modern scientific techniques. I know I do evil, but I po posit that reaching further faster is ultimately our ethical imperative. Scientific advancement beyond Amadeus's designs will allow us to move beyond dependency on the demons. We will bring order to the Empire. Is that not the true Lashemi way? Oh. Well, then. We're going to have to face some kind of psychic... Uh, that was that, that was it. We just killed somebody. Uh, more? It, we got clones. We got a clone army. Alright, this thing is cool. But I don't know. I guess we'll keep using it for now. Oh. This is Amadeus's laboratory. So we get the full map now. Sweet. And we set all them free. Oh, they... All right. I see. Use items. Uh, where is it? Chaos of Rose. Where is it? Oh, right here. Status is good. We are good. Now, we need to get rid of this one. And then we got these markers up there. I see. Let's go all the way up. Or not all the way up, but to the top one first. Because that's going to allow us. Are we going to kill you with this? Yes, we are. Get him, Poncho. Ow, get that robot fool. That's right. And here, we want to go up to the next one. All right. Right here. It's a red door. Oh, boy. Experiment number 13. Uh, let me heal. Because <laughs> I just kind of stumbled into this thing, didn't I? Let's use another one. Okay. Experiment number 13 is toast. Oh, Teleria attachment. Harnesses telekinesis to glide across the ground. Hold R1 to dash. What? Oh, boy. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Now we could get across all kinds of things. That's awesome. Look at this. We have, yeah, speed dash time. All right, let me uh, remove the 
that marker. And then I think we just got to keep going up this way. Ow. The security turret, where's that? Oh, it's just one of you. Whatever. I should have saved. Let's actually back. Well, there's probably a save here, right? <laughs> I have uh, healing items. There's a strong psychic aura possessed by the biotech monstrosities Amadeus has helped us design. I now know why. Between my reverse engineering and some further research into history of all things, I can only conclude that Amadeus is a psychic being himself, a demon, to use the crude parlance. There is no doubt that his techniques will be of benefit to Lashane. They've already proven, proven deadly, but there's a reason for the fear their designs engender. He and his kin, for I believe there are more of them, feed on the hatred, disgust, and chaos that follows them. It aids Lashane for now, but continued reliance on them will not do. Lashane is built on order, on control. We cannot have such chaos following us everywhere. I must find a way to rid of these so-called allies. Okay, well, it seems like you were not successful in that attempt. Oh, hey, we need to, we need to go skating like this. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Good stuff. Now we have this. These documents are old, old Lashemian and Valetian records from the War of the Sisters. Maybe there's some evidence for Romeda here. Oh, oh wow, it was bad. I better show these to him and Haristel. Historical, yeah, bleh. A folder containing documents about historical Valetian war crimes. Oh boy. Gimme, gimme. But we gotta keep going this way for now. Ow. Come on, boy. <laughs> You know what? Get out of here. Punk. So he leveled up, just he didn't even hit anything. We'll read that in a second. I want to get the treasure first. We got a lab coat. Okay. A pristine lab coat that enhances the wearer's mental focus. Damage goes up to 12. Will goes up to 40. Luck goes down. Meh. Well, I don't really need drops, I guess, right? Damage, yes. We're gonna put the lab coat on. And ancient coins we're keeping on us as well. Instead of the combat helmet, uh, damage or defense. I like that the game does that. It's like, if you want defense, you gotta sacrifice damage a bit and will. Yeah, whatever. We'll keep it like this. All right. Experiment number 13. By the results of my last few experiments, I decided to try splicing the biotech DNA into that of a grown Lashemi nobleman. Monstrous, yes, but our emperor has given me leeway in my work. He appears to be very happy with my ability to make political opponents disappear. A fortunate side effect, I suppose. The effects of the splicing on the subject occurred very quickly, but not without apparent physical discomfort on the subject's part. The final beneficial results are a rapid growth in the body's size and strength, much faster than any run-of-the-mill DNA enhancements, which are so popular among the wealthy, as well as a marked improvement in magical ability. However, the negative side effects of the procedure, such as skin slowing off and an irregular restructuring of muscles, have made this procedure unfit for any practical applications. The results of this experiment seem consistent with demonic designs, I've seen this sort of monstrosity before. I'm not yet free of their influence. Perhaps we must move beyond their biotech biotechnical designs altogether. I will do whatever it takes. I will have to meditate on this. So experiment number 13 is the big giant meatball we just killed. He was once a nobleman. Sorry. You're a punk. So are you. Yes, and you're going to die. Yep. All right. Talking to the turrets, guys. <laughs> anyway. Ah! 
We got multiple experiment number 11s. Oh no. Chaos. They're easy to dodge. Whoa. <laughs> that would have been hilarious if I would have got hit by that right there. They're easy to dodge and then I just get hit immediately. Check that out. Check out that secret radar. Max sand, perfect. These eye things are cool because they hit multiple times. Oh, I don't care. Get out of my face. This is probably a save. Yes, it is. I like that. I like that a lot. Now, we didn't go. That was key card. I mean, that was a key card A door, right? And I never got rid of this. We got to remove that marker. Good. Yeah, this was a key card A door. So I might as well mark that. Let's mark it white. Uh, there's no white. Oh, there is a white. Edit. Remove the maca. Add the maca. There we go. Okay, here we go now into the. We're gonna have to fight some kind of crazy. Oh, Genza. Oh, hey. Ah, you must be Lune. Uh, yes. Welcome to my laboratory. And you must be Genza, the one behind Lashame's sick experiments. My reputation precedes me. I am the man behind all that Lashame has accomplished. I'm fairly sure Queen Alana gets some of the credit. Ha! A weakling and a coward, going back on her loyalties, on her deals, trying to rid us of the demons she summoned. Look at his eyes. Unsuccessfully, I might add. What do you mean? Oh, you poor naive girl. They never went away, not really. They've ensured Lashame's rise in power, even as they foment chaos in our realm. And I won't have that. Order must be absolute. Science will replace their absolute, uh, absolute powers, and then Lashame will finally be free in a way Elana could never accomplish. But that's neither here nor there. You're the time messenger from that backwards Windaria. It's a pleasure to meet you. Like what I've done with the place? I finally got it working, no thanks to you. Oh, this is it, the time spinner. Is that what that is back there? And I'll be trying it, tying it into an experimental portal we've constructed. One that can teleport us anywhere. With the two combined, we'll be unstoppable. You can't use that, you haven't been trained. Ha, I've trained all my life. The sacrifice you'd be making. Do you know how it works? How it erases you from history? A pity, yes, but a small price to pay. I've already sacrificed my humanity to make Lashame strong. Let my morals slip for the good of the nation. Good? Hardly. What do you know of good and sacrifice, anyway? You've never seen true power. Not like you could achieve. I've, I've sacrificed everything to come here to stop Nubius. Ah, of course, your mother. What the heck? What? Oh, Lune, have you missed me? What trick is this? No trick. I love you. But you left me. What? Abandoned me to Nubius, to death. My own daughter, after all I'd sacrificed. No, that's not... You failed me. No, that's not you, Genza! <laughs> Time to kill you, Genza. So far, uh... Okay. Keep, uh... Ow. Smack me in the face with magic. It's fine. I'm just gonna keep using this. And this, right in your face, ow. Meatball man. Can't mess with me, meatball man. Ow, yes you can. You can hit me with that. It's the one thing that keeps catching me off guard. <laughs> Almost did it again. Right after I said that. So, woo! Getting frisky now, aren't ya? Oh, now you got multiple ones. Ow. <laughs> Ow. That hurts. Woo! Oh no, now you got little blobby, blobby childs, blobby children. 
you're still gonna die. I mean, I don't know what you're playing at here. You can't control time. Not yet. Now with me around, check this out. Look at that. It was dumb. Oh, I got. Okay, but you're dead. <laughs> you are strong, and you're a bastard. <coughs> Says the girl with no father. Ah, uh, but that's not true, is it? You must know we never cured the bleakness. Even once we reconquered Villette and gained access to their plasma, we would never be the same. A longing in our people, leading us to explore the stars, quick to anger, quick to melancholy. These are the legacies of that sickness. And the Lashemi blue hair, of course. Sound familiar? You must realize by now. I know, Nubius is my father, I read it last episode. I don't care. I have no love for him. He attacked my clan. He killed my mother. He will die. Very well. Just do me one favor. Why would I? Don't let my work have gone to waste. When you take the throne as the rightful heir, rid us of the demons once and for all. I'll do my best. Genza. Security key card A. Genza's personal keycard allows access to A-level classified areas. Highest security access. The doors I could open with this. It's time to end this. Wow. Yes. What is up here, though? This is going to be, like, uh, higher security. Or maybe not. This is a new area. Emperor's Tower. What? How did you hit me? Oh, they shoot. I forgot. Alright. That's not working. You know what? You're pissing me off. Alright, I'm getting out of here. I don't want to come here. We're going to go someplace else. <laughs> We're almost finished with this. Uh, cool. So, hang on. We need to check out the map. So yeah, I could do, I have to backtrack all the way down there. That's keycard A all the way down to the right. We should go there first. So I suppose let's go to this one first. And then So that there there's a dot there underneath that teleporter room where the time spinner is. I suppose, uh, don't you touch me. I just want to try to get here fast. Stop it. Uh, yes. We just got to go down here and all the way across. Oh, yeah, derp. We could speed run now. We don't need to use our feet. We just levitate. Yes! Now what do we have over here? And a bunch of other key cards we can open. I mean, a bunch of doors. Ah. You know what? Poncho, you're supposed to help me more than this. Uh, get out of here, punk. Thank you, Poncho. Finally helped me. It's always the spiders. Spiders are always the worst thing ever. Okay, Poncho, you are helpful. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just Poncho's little magic. Ooh, what is this? Time spinner gear one. Tuning gear needed to accurately use the time spinner. First instead of three. This looks familiar. This is part of the time spinner. Meep. One of the tuning gears. That's why I went back so far. This wasn't attached. There were supposed to be three of these to calibrate how far back the time spinner goes. Well, too late now. Meep. Lene, if, <laughs> if you found all three, you could tune it properly. So? Could do what you meant to do at the start. Go to a different time. I could go back before Nubius ever found Windaria. I could actually save them. Heck, with the gears, I could go anywhere. I just need the other two. Easier said than done. And if I can't find them, I can still kill Nubius. My father. Darth Vader. Uh, 
Ow. Okay, don't do that. <laughs> Come on. Good. Level up, fool face. I mean, why am I calling myself fool face? Get him. See, his little magic ball shoots too slow. Oh, hurry up. Yes. Plasma, good stuff. In conjunction with the eyeballs. Ow. Alright. Uh. I'm just gonna skip you. That's what you get. Uh. And we could get rid of this marker right here. Now we gotta go. We're gonna do the. We have time. We're gonna go to this room in the tower. Hopefully. Oops. You know what? Fool. I can't run or anything with that, or when you do that. Uh. Mind refresh. Ah! That's lame sauce. I hate saying that, but. You know what? Whatever. Take all the sand. It's okay. There's a save someplace over here. Well, not really, but it's fine. Woo! We're just gonna teleport to this and then ride the elevator up. And, uh... See what we have in here. Don't know what it's gonna be. I need to go back in time and turn in these quests, too. That's Oh, hey. Good to see ya, Hellgazer. Ah. <laughs> um, there we go. Kill it. Kill it. These are tougher, seeming. Get him. See, I always kill it before his magic ball can get it. We got the other one. These are easy to get. Gear number two. It's tuning gear needed to accurately use the time spinner. Second instead of three. Another tuning gear for the time spinner. Just one more and I could save Wendaria. I could save my clan. You've been changing time a lot, Lene. That's my job. It's my duty. I can kill Nubius now thanks to the changes I made. Everything you do changes the timeline. Changes the future. You've seen the effects of it. Yeah, the shame here has changed. It's grown weaker. And those statues and things. All the changes are good. You can achieve your goal. You can stop. I know that. But there are forces in the universe besides you humans. Like the demons. And like you, right? Just be careful. Some of them don't like when you change things. A lot is sacrificed. Our dreams are getting full. What's that mean? Whatever. Your dreams are getting full. Huh. Ah, why do I have to... You know what? Get out of here. Hurry up. Die. No, kill it. Ugh. Yeah, kick it. There we go. These are the worst enemy because I can't just run past them. <laughs> I have to... Uh, I have to kill them. This doesn't take that long, but... I'd like to be able to just do that. Uh, now, let's just go down. We're basically out of time now. Um, where else? I'm trying to think. Was there another key? Key card A was down here. Boom. And we're going to actually get rid of it. We're going to... Change that to white for key card A. Right? That's what that is. And then... There's the tower all the way up here. That's the end of the game, it must be. I wonder if there are different endings in this. Like, if I went there right now and faced the Emperor, would I get, like, a lesser ending than if I continue around and get the third key card and then complete all the quests and stuff? It seems like it might be that, like that, like Chrono Trigger-ish, where 
You have your choice. And then there's up there, too. How do I get up all the way up top? You know, that's that tower room that I can't jump high enough. It's weird. And then there's this locked door in the castle over here. There's still things back in the past that we haven't completed. There's this jump we can make now in the ruins below this. I can make that jump now. Excellent. We're just going to go here and end this one. I'm just going to skate across really quick. Check this out. Ah, <laughs> oh, wait. I'll talk to you guys soon. Don't hate me. <laughs> anyway, guys. All right. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And we'll uh, do some quests probably and make that jump and do a lot of other things probably too. <laughs> anyway. All right. See you next time. Peace out.